Hey everyone, welcome to my channel guys. This is Pranshi Verma and in today's video we are going to learn power theft in electromechanical meters. Okay guys, this is your unit second from the subject power theft and energy management. Okay guys, and this is electrical branch subject. Okay, now let's begin and this your first question is the household energy meter is option A. An indicating instrument, option B, a recording instrument, option C, an integrating instrument, option D, none of the above. Here, right answer is option C, an integrating instrument. Next question, the meter constant of single, single phase energy meter is expressed in terms of option A, revolutions per kilowatt hour, option B, kilowatt per kilowatt hour, option C, Amperes per kilowatt. Option D. Volts per kilowatt hour. Right answer here. Single phase energy meter is expressed in terms of option A. Revolutions per kilowatt hour. Option B. Kilowatt per kilowatt hour. Option C. Amperes per kilowatt. Option D. Volts per kilowatt hour. Right answer here. Here right answer is option A revolutions per kilowatt hour. Next question. If voltage supply to the energy meter is more than the rated value, energy meter will run. Option A slow. Option B fast. Option C either of the above. Option D none of the above. Right answer is option A slow. So if voltage supply to the energy meter energy meter is more than the rated value energy meter will run slow next question aluminium is selected as the material for rotating disc of energy meter because option a it's good conductor option b it's light option c it's indigenously available option d all of the above here right answer is option d all of the above reasons next question the adjustment of position of shedding bands in an energy meter is done to provide option A. Friction compensation. Option B. Creep compensation. Option C. Breaking torque. Option D. None of the above. Here right answer is option A. Is friction compensation. Next question. Which of the following meters are new, not used on DC circuits? Option A. Mercury motor meters. Option B, cumulator motor meters. Option C, induction meters. Option D, none of the above. Right answer here is option C, induction meters. Next question. Most common from AC meters meet within everyday domestic and industrial installations are option A, mercury motor meters. Option B, cumulators motor meters. Option C, induction, inductive type single phase energy meters. Option D, all of the above. Here, right answer is option C, induction type single phase energy meters. Next question, which of the following is an essential part of a motor meter? Option A, an operating torque system. Option B, a braking device. Option C, revolution registering device. Option D, all of the above. Here, right answer is option D, all of the above. Next question. A power factors meter has blank space control springs. Option A, 1. Option B, 2. Option C, 4. Option D, no. So here, a power factor meter has no control spring. Okay. Right answer is answer. Option D. Next question. Meter ranges are so selected that the indications are obtained near the option A. Top of the scale. Option B, bottom of the scale. Option C, middle of the scale. Option D, none of the above. Right answer is option C. Right answer is option C. This is middle of the scale. Okay guys, this option is wrong. mention it. I will cut it. Next question. Right answer is option C. Is here. Okay, please focus on it. Next question. 11. Moving iron meters are extensively used for the measurement of AC voltage and current because Option A. No current flows through the moving element and it's robust. Option B. Its torque weight ratio is more. 
ऑप्शन सी इट्स वेरी एक्यूरेट राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए नो करंट फ्लोस थ्रो द मूविंग एलिमेंट एंड इट्स रोबस्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ ए मीटर इज डिटरमाइंड बाय ब्लैंक स्पेस डिफ्लेक्शन ऑप्शन ए वन टेंथ ऑफ फुल स्केल ऑप्शन बी वन फोर्थ ऑफ फुल स्केल ऑप्शन सी हाफ स्केल ऑप्शन डी फुल स्केल राइट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन डी फुल स्केल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ब्लैंक स्पेस मीटर हैज द बेस्ट एक्यूरेसी ऑप्शन ए थर्मोकपल ऑप्शन बी मूविंग कॉयल ऑप्शन सी मूविंग आयरन ऑप्शन डी रेक्टिफायर टाइप योर राइट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन बी मूविंग कॉयल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एन इलेक्ट्रोडायनेमिक मीटर कैन बी यूज टू मेजर ऑप्शन ए ए सी वोल्टेजेस ऑप्शन बी टी सी वोल्टेजेस ऑप्शन सी बोथ ए एंड बी एंड ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द अब Right answer is option C, both A and B. Next question: The read frequency is essentially option A, a deflection measuring system. Option B, a vibrational measuring system. Option C, an oscillatory measuring system. Option D, a recording measuring system. Right answer is option B. Option B, a vibrational measuring system. Okay, guys, yeah, A or B may have please have confused. नहीं होएगा राइट ऑप्शन है ऑप्शन बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द मल्टीप्लायर एंड द मीटर कॉयल इन द वोल्ट मीटर आर इन ऑप्शन ए सीरीज ऑप्शन बी पैरेलल, ऑप्शन सी सीरीज पैरेलल, ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द अब राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए सीरीज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ब्लैंक स्पेस वोल्ट मीटर हैज द लीस्ट पावर कंजम्पन ऑप्शन ए इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक टाइप ऑप्शन बी हॉट बायर टाइप ऑप्शन सी इंडक्शन टाइप ऑप्शन डी मूविंग आयरन अट्रैक्शन टाइप राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक टाइप नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ ए वोल्ट मीटर मस्ट बी वेरी हाई सो दैट ऑप्शन ए मिनिमम करंट पासिस थ्रू द मीटर ऑप्शन बी रेंज इज हाई ऑप्शन सी एक्यूरेसी इज हाई ऑप्शन डी लोडिंग इफेक्ट इज मैक्सिमम Right answer is option A. Minimum current passes through the meter. Next question. Sensitivity of a voltmeter is given by the option A. Ohms per volt. Option B. Reciprocal of full scale deflection current. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of the above. Right answer is option C. Both A and B. Next question. A high resistance is usually connected in series with an electrostatic voltmeter option A to render the measurement accurate option B to increase the range option C for safety reasons option D none of the above right answer is option C for safety reasons okay guys now let's wind up this lecture see you in the next video thanks for watching this video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos bye bye